Task 8.5 Cash Book Entry Cash Payment Previous Task 8.4 We already done the transaction of cash receipt. Now it's time for us to record the transaction of cash payment. You may click on the shortcut of cash book entry and under here you select new payment voucher. Let's record the first transaction of payment voucher or cash payment. We pay to supplier AA. Description is purchases. The voucher number just remain as default, which is you may refer to the header. The next number will be PV-000001. Change the date. The date is 8th of January current year. Payment made to our bank. And check number. This is our check number. 666001. And again, for the payment amount, I advise you enter under the main column. So click the plus sign under editing to add a new column. Select the account number, which is purchase. Raw material. Then for the description, add it to item. A90. Enter the uh, sub amount which is 5,000 ringgit. Now you may click on enter to add. Now you may click on enter to add a new row. The second column. Enter the account carried inwards. Then for the description. We amend and change to lorry 5T. Then enter the sub amount which is 500 ringgit. And automatically the system will sum up the total amount which is 5,500 ringgit and posting to payment amount column. Once we have done, since we have another cash payment we want to record, please check for proceed new payment voucher now click on save and continue with the second transaction the second one we pay to staff and description is salary and wages voucher number remain as default and the date is 8 of january current year payment meter to bank and the check number will automatically update via or from the previous cash payment that we already paid. So automatically it will capture the running check number. Now click the plus sign to add a column. The account number is production wages. Description is wages January. And the sub amount is 300 ring correction. And the sub amount is 3000 ringgit. Click on enter to add the second row. The second column is staff salary and allowance. Then edit for description is salary January. And the amount is 2,000 ringgit. So total amount is 5,000 ringgit. Once you have done, click on save. The third cash payment we pay to Nazel. Description is rental for January. The date is on 8th of January current year also. And the payment method we pay to bank and check number will be running. Click the plus sign on the editing to add a new column. The account number is factory rental. Description is factory rental.
amount is 2,500 ringgit. Click on enter to add a new column. The second row is office rental. And description is office rental. Amount 2,500 ringgit. So the total is 5,000 ringgit and automatic posted to payment amount. Click on save. Next one, pay to QQ Go. Description is charges January. The date is 8 January, current year. Payment made by cash. Click the plus sign to add a new column. Account number is upkeep of machine for the first one. Upkeep of factory machine. Description is machine. Amount is 300 ringgit. Enter. The second row is upkeep of equipment. Description is all equipment. Amount is 300. And the last one is upkeep correction. And the last one is security charges. Description is main gate. And amount is 400 ringgit. So since this is the last transaction, once you have done, uncheck for proceed new payment voucher and click on save. If you want to view back the transactions that we have done record for the cash payment, you may right click on the cash book entry shortcut or you may go to GL cash book entry. And this is all the transaction that we have recorded for payment voucher. So once we have done close cash book entry, that's all for task 8.5.